Kathy, your case has continued to progress and the state of California appealing the latest victory that you had. Before we get into all of that, can you take us through how this case all began? How did you end up in, in the legal crosshairs? Thank you, Billy. Um, about six and a half years ago, we had a, uh, four people come in and it was two men and two women. And I thought it was a bride and a groom and their best man and maid of honor. They asked to have a wedding cake made. And once I realized that it was a same sex union, I politely told them that I'm sorry, I can't hurt my Lord and Savior. I can't participate in the union, but that I had a bakery that was very happy to do their cake. And so we thought everything was fine and everything was not fine. Uh, social media went crazy. The media went crazy. We had uh, harassments and horrible emails and just really a very difficult, difficult two years. Um, and then we were represented by the Thomas More Society. We went to court. Um, there was TROs and we ended up winning. And then the state decided that wasn't good enough and in comes the Beckett team and they are taking care of us now legally. I mean, you have, this has been going on, correct me if I'm wrong, since 2017, correct? Correct. So you have been in a years long battle now over what I assume you thought would be a very simple interaction that day. And as you said, I just want to emphasize this, when the couple, when they came to you, you said to them, I have another bakery. I'm going to actually forward you to somebody else who would have no problem doing this, correct? Correct. And it also violated my standards of service, which had been in effect for several years. So, so here you are now, and you are in a situation where in October, again, the state appeals. You have a victory. The state then appeals. Adele, I want to come to you on this. What is your reaction to that October appeal at this point, why do you think the government continues to come back on this case and not let it go? It's been six years, Billy, so I think that's more than a fair question. Kathy, the state of California put Kathy through uh, multiple depositions in a five-day trial on the merits. And at the end of all of that, the trial court judge said there was no evidence in this case that Kathy had any intent to discriminate. The only evidence in the case, according to the judge, was that Kathy's intent was to follow her sincerely held religious beliefs, which she's just talked about. Um, there was no evidence that anything else was going on. And that's why the court ruled in her favor. Why California has decided to take this up after the Supreme Court has had two different cases in the past five years upholding the right of wedding vendors to say to step out, to opt out when they're asked to do something that violates their faith. I don't know, Billy. I don't know. But I do know that Kathy is a very, very principled woman of faith and that she and Mike intend to see this to the end. If it's the U.S. Supreme Court, then so be it. So some people might be confused, and I, and I love, Adele, that you brought that up, as to why with those two Supreme Court cases, and the, the second one seemed more definitive even than the first one with the graphic designer there, Lori Smith, why, why are states still doing this? Why can they still do it? I guess that's the question people will ask. I think people will say, well, why hasn't this been settled yet? Didn't that case settle it? I know that's a complicated um, answer, perhaps, but would love to hear from you on that. Well, you know, law is a retail enterprise, not a not a wholesale one. Um, so in each case, a judge has to decide how the law applies to the facts of that case. Um, we think that you're right, Billy. You're absolutely right. The case you're talking about, 303 Creative v. Ellenis, um, the Supreme Court specifically rejected many of the same arguments that California has advanced in this case. California says, well, this couple is not content with the referral that Kathy had set up for them because they wanted Kathy's cakes and no other cakes. That Supreme Court said you can't do that in 303 Creative. Um, so we we think that 303 Creative does answer most of the questions in this case. And we are hopeful and optimistic that the uh, California Court of Appeals will agree. Yeah, you know, it, it's interesting, you know, looking at this, Kathy, from, from your perspective, what was it like for you in October after years now of being in this to, to hear, oh no, you know, the state is going to be appealing this again. What was that like for you? Well, we had one day to rejoice and celebrate and praise the Lord. And then the state of California just popped that bubble. And it was very disappointing. 
Um, but you know what? When God calls you to walk a path, you walk it. And we know that with his support and his wisdom, we'll continue to walk the path he has for us. You know, Kathy, people, and you've heard this because you mentioned the emails and the calls and, and you know, threats. I'm sure you faced all sorts of things. And we'll talk about that, you know, in, in a moment. But, you know, when you think about what people will say, okay, Kathy, you're, you're a bigot, you're horrible, you won't serve the LGBTQ you know, community. We've heard all these things. Can you correct the record on that? Help people understand, because I don't think that's the case at all. This was about this particular incident, not, not serving LGBTQ people. You're correct. So this is not about not serving someone at all. We have LGBT community people who come in my bakery all the time. Uh, so I'm happy to serve everyone. This issue is I can't participate in the union of an LGBT couple because it goes against my Lord and Savior. I'm not going to hurt Jesus. And I told them that. So that's what the, the issue is for me. Now, the state should be supporting me or at least have talked to me about it and interviewed me because that's my constitutional right to live my life for the Lord if that's what I choose. Sure. And and you've been doing, I mean, you've been baking for a long time now and you've built this business. You talked about, again, and we just mentioned some of those responses you've gotten. How has this case over the last six years impacted your business and, and even you personally as a human being? It's been a complete roller coaster, both physically and emotionally and financially. Um, it, it really, our business took a dive, a big dive when this happened. Um, it's hurt my time with my family. Um, it's taken a lot of time out of that, but you know, when you're doing something for the Lord and when you love Jesus with all your heart, then you're going to walk that path. Yeah. Yeah. What, what would you say, um, Kathy, you know, to this couple, if they were in front of you right now, obviously a lot of pain and chaos has followed that initial meeting, but what would you say to them if they were in front of you right now? I think the best thing for me to say would be that I wish they would have understood. Um, I thought they did that day that I couldn't hurt my Lord and Savior and that I did my best to provide yeah. for them. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's the, that's the, str the struggle in the midst of this, you know, as you're trying to, you know, as you're trying to navigate it and, and you're navigating it publicly and that's a whole other level, you know, all of that reaction that you mentioned getting, you know, in most cases, people aren't dealing with those things, but here you are really dealing with, with, absolutely so much on this. And, you know, we appreciate you taking the time at the end of the day, when all is said and done, Kathy, what are you hoping to see happen in this case? I'm hoping to see that business people, um, everyone in their walk of life can walk according to their, their convictions. And for me, it's my, my love for Jesus and that the government will honor that and respect that and try to work with us um, and understanding that it's okay to have those beliefs and our constitution does support that. Well, Kathy, I so appreciate you taking the time today and joining us and we'll be continuing to pray for you throughout this journey. Thank you so much.